The Abbevillian industry is an archaeological term used to describe a specific type of stone tool technology. This technology is named after the town of Abbeville in France, where the first such tools were identified. Named after its discovery location, the Abbevillian industry represents an early chapter in human technological evolution, showcasing the first steps in crafting stone tools. The Abbevillian industry dates back to the Lower Paleolithic period, approximately 1.7 million years ago. It predates the Aquilian industry, another significant stone tool technology in human prehistory. This predating highlights the gradual evolution of tool-making techniques from simple to more refined, as seen in the subsequent Aquilian industry. The primary tool associated with the Abbevillian industry is the hand axe, often crude and bifacially worked. The hand axe's significance lies in its being one of the oldest recognizable tool forms, hinting at cognitive complexity and practical needs of early Homo species. These hand axes were likely used for various purposes, including butchering animals and cutting through vegetation. The versatility of these tools underscores the resourcefulness of early humans able to tackle various tasks with a single, robust implement. Abivian tools have been found across Europe and parts of Africa, suggesting widespread early human presence. Spanning across two continents, the presence of these tools attests to the wide geographical range of early humans and their adaptive capabilities. They are often associated with early Homo species, particularly Homo erectus or Homo ergaster. While Homo erectus and ergaster are prime candidates, the precise attribution to a species underscores the ongoing quest for definitive fossil evidence. The exact makers of these tools remain a topic of debate among archaeologists due to limited fossil evidence. The hand axes demonstrate an early understanding of stone knapping techniques, a crucial skill for survival. The Abbevillian industry represents one of the earliest known instances of human toolmaking outside Africa. Sites like saint Aco in France provide key evidence for the study of this early technology. Sites like saint Aco offer tangible evidence bridging the gap between archaeological theory and physical remains. The tools were typically made from locally available materials indicating limited long-distance trade at the time. Local sourcing of materials indicates a reliance on immediate environments which shaped tool-making practices and mobility patterns. The size of Abbeville hand axes varies greatly from small to very large, with some reaching over half a meter in length. Their shapes can be irregular, showing less standardization compared to later Aculean tools. The absence of fine retouching on many Abbeville tools suggests a more practical, utilitarian approach to their creation. The irregularity and lack of refinement suggest a focus on functionality over aesthetics, aligning with the survival-driven mindset of time. The technology spread as early humans migrated out of Africa, contributing to the understanding of early human dispersal pattern. The migration patterns inferred from these tools contribute to mapping the ancient human journey across continents. Abbevillian sites often lack evidence of permanent settlements implying nomadic or semi-nomadic lifestyle. These sites paint a picture of early human life where the ability to craft tools was essential for adapting to and exploiting diverse habitats. The use of fire by Abbevillian humans is debated, but some sites suggest knowledge of fire control. Fire control, though not definitively proven, hints at an advanced understanding of natural elements by Abbevillian humans. These tools indicate early humans' adaptability to different environments, from forests to grasslands. The adaptability shown by the use of these tools in different landscapes underscores early human resilience and ecological knowledge. The absence of settlement structures points to a mobile existence consistent with hunter-gatherer lifestyles. The Abbevillian industry coexisted with other local stone tool traditions in different regions, showcasing cultural diversity. The coexistence and variation of tool technologies reveal a complex prehistoric world with multiple cultural expressions. Study of Abbevillian artifacts helps in understanding the cognitive development of early humans. These studies contribute to unraveling the cognitive processes involved in early toolmaking, shedding light on human cognitive evolution. Some Abbevillian tools show signs of extensive use, indicating they were valuable resources to their makers. The heavy use of some tools implies they were highly valued and possibly passed down, indicating social and cultural value. 
The dating of Abivian sites relies heavily on stratigraphy and geologic context due to the lack of organic material for radiocarbon dating. Precise dating methods are crucial in situating these early cultures in time, as organic materials are scarce from this era. In Africa, similar early tool technologies are sometimes referred to as Oldowan, although the distinction between the two is debated. The Old Elwin comparison in Africa highlights global similarities and differences in early human technological strategies. The transition from Abivian to Akulian industries occurred over hundreds of thousands of years. The transition to Akulian reflects a developmental leap in tool making, not just a replacement marking a phase of innovation. The Abivillian industry's hand axes might have served social functions, symbolizing group identity or skill. The potential social functions of tools suggest a nuanced understanding of early human society beyond mere survival. Sites with Abivillian tools have occasionally yielded evidence of butchery marks on animal bones, hinting at hunting practices. Butchery marks provide direct evidence of hunting practices, illuminating the dietary habits and subsistence strategies of early humans. The development of tool technology like Abivillian hand axes was crucial for early human survival in harsh environments. These technologies were pivotal for thriving in challenging environments, enabling humans to exploit a wide range of resources. Early human groups employing Abivillian technology likely had a basic social structure and communication systems. Early societies were likely structured around shared knowledge and cooperation, facilitated by tool use and production. These tools have been found in association with extinct megafauna, providing insights into ancient ecosystems. The presence of Abivillian tools near megafauna fossils gives insights into the interactions between early humans and their environment. The study of Abivillian sites involves interdisciplinary collaboration between archaeologists, geologists, and paleontologists. Collaboration across disciplines enriches our understanding by combining geological, archaeological, and biological perspectives. The presence of Abivillian tools in multiple continents supports the out-of-Africa theory of human evolution. The out-of-Africa theory gains support from the global distribution of Abivillian-like tools, hinting at common ancestral populations. Some researchers propose that the Abivillian industry might have emerged independently in different regions. The debate on independent development underlines the complexity of human cultural evolution, which wasn't necessarily linear or uniform. The technology's simplicity doesn't imply a lack of sophistication. It reflects the functional needs of early humans. The simplicity of the tools belies the complexity of thought required for their creation, revealing a sophisticated understanding of stone's properties. Abivillian sites in Africa and Europe exhibit variations in tool-making techniques, reflecting regional differences. Regional variations in tool-making techniques highlight the cultural distinctiveness even among early human groups. The study of Abivillian sites has evolved with new dating methods, improving our understanding of the timeline of human evolution. Advances in dating techniques, like optically stimulated luminescence, refine our chronology of human technological development. Hand axes might have been used for defense against predators or as status symbols within groups. Hand axes as defensive tools underscores the threats faced by early humans and their need for protection. The Abivillian industry provides insights into the cognitive leap required for planning and executing tool production. The cognitive processes behind tool production were fundamental, laying the groundwork for future innovations. These tools were likely created through a combination of direct percussion and possibly using stone anvils. The use of stone anvils indicates a developing understanding of workstations, enhancing efficiency in tool manufacture. The Abivillian period predates the invention of pottery, agriculture, and complex societies by hundreds of thousands of years. The discovery of Abivillian sites continues to reshape our understanding of when and how humans left Africa. Not all early human groups adopted the Abivillian technology, highlighting the diversity of cultural adaptations. The Abivillian industry's longevity suggests a successful adaptation strategy for early humans over a vast time span. The persistence of Abivillian technology over time signals its effectiveness despite later innovations. The tools may have also played a role in the social learning and transmission of skills within communities. 
Social learning through tool making would have been critical for cultural transmission, fostering community cohesion. Comparisons between Abbeville and later tool industries help archaeologists trace technological advancements. Comparisons between tool industries track the gradual refinement of technology and cognitive abilities. Sites with Abbeville tools have occasionally revealed evidence of early attempts at shelter construction. The evidence of shelter suggests an evolving understanding of shelter build, a key adaptation for survival. The Abbevillian industry stands as a testament to the earliest known cultural expressions and technological achievements of our ancestors. The Abbevillian industry serves as a reminder that human creativity and problem-solving are ancient traits, shaping our history from the very beginning.